This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So once again, enterprise structure. And now here, practically I'll show you how we are going to set up this company, company code, business area, etc. Right? So creation and assignment both will be there that I'll show you practically. So now here, what you have to do guys, uh, in uh, the previous, uh, what to say, uh, lecture already I have shown you guys like how to install this SAP. So hope you all are having like SAP server is ready with you. And if it is ready, then you need to double click on your login pad, which is there on desktop. And once you double click, then this is going to open. Now, so here you need to whatever SAP FICO or whatever descriptions you have given, you just need to double click on that to login into SAP. And then you have to give your ID and password, whatever your ID, which you have received that you have to give your ID, whether it is like given by me or else if you are already having, then you can use that. Okay, so now here we have logged in. How to now? So here, if you have to, if you talk about the configuration, guys, configurations can be done in two ways. Configurations means like, first of all, as I said, like we have to set up company, we have to set up company code, right? We have to set up business area also. So now, how to set up this in the sense, how to configure these things into SAP, guys? So we are having two things, okay? Either you can use path or you can use transaction code. What is this path and what is transaction code guys? I'll show you here. Okay, this is what the example which I've quoted in the previous session from here on what's itself. I'm going to start now. Let's suppose let's suppose we are having like uh, say for example. Okay, so certain destinations a b c d and e so let's suppose from here we are going to start our journey and this is our destinations where you have to reach right so how it is possible guys we are having two way right we are having two way of course we are going to use either like uh, you can say like two way in the sense like you have to start your journey from a right i'll just do one thing okay so we are going to start our journey from here and then finally we can reach here right so how we can say like through road base by road right by road okay now even we are having another options also by air also you can reach guys so by road if you are going to like let's suppose here by air also we can reach directly okay so now if you talk about by road this is by road is nothing but it is called path okay in sap we are having path and also i said transaction code and transaction code is nothing but i said like by air air so this is nothing but called transaction code it is also called t code in short form okay so this is how either like by road means from a to b b to c c to d and d to e so it's going to take some time and by air if you're going to travel directly from this destination to this destination in between whatever is there is not coming into picture so either you can apply here in sap also if you have to configure something you can either apply you can you can go through path or you can go through transaction code I'll tell you now there are multiple people if you like if you uh, uh, multiple uh, trainers are having different different point of view they will say that uh, uh, to become a good consultant you have to use path right somebody will say that no it's not like that better to use transaction code by which uh, by this you can be able to save your time so I'll tell you guys don't be confused neither path no transaction code is going to make you a perfect consultant right even if you mugged up all the path even if you uh, mugged up all this transaction code 
so by mugging up the path or transaction code you are not going to become a consultant it is a kind of medium right with the help of path you are going to reach at like certain point like let's suppose if you have to do the if you have to configure your company code so how where you are going to get the setting how to do this configuration so you have to reach if you are trying to reach till that configurations point right so how you are going to reach you are going to reach with the help of path or else you are going to reach with the help of transaction code path means certain like i i told you from a to b b to c c to d d to e finally you are going to reach or else with the help of transaction code directly you are going to reach at your destinations right so neither path nor transaction code is going to make you a perfect consultant it's only your understanding the you know as much as knowledge of like uh, understanding about the logics and all if you know this logic and all then only you are going to become a perfect consultant okay so try to understand those logics and all here in my configurations i'll use both i'll use for some of the configurations i'm going to use path also some of the configurations i'm going to use transaction code also but whichever configurations documents are there in uh, configurations document here like for every configurations document i've given path also i've given and transaction code also i've given whichever you feel easy you can use it there is no any kind of restrictions that i'll never say that you have to follow path or transaction code whatever you are going to feel easy you can use it there is no any such kind of restrictions okay even in real time also once you become a consultant there is no such kind of this one that you have to must follow the path or transaction code whatever you wish you can follow guys okay so now as i said like we have to configure so first of all here Come on here guys now i showed I, I i said like first of all what we are going to set up we are going to set up tata group into sap okay so tata group is going to be set up as a company group company is going to be called as into sap language it is called company how it is going to be so if you have to use path if you have to use path first of all this is called command box right here you are going to give a command like spro okay spro press enter and then you need to click on reference img right second step in third step you have to expand this enterprise structure in fourth step you have to expand definitions fifth step you have to expand financial accounting and then look at here we are having defined company so in sixth or seventh step you have to click on execute button and then you are able to here you can click on new entry and then we are going to configure company six seven steps are there guys right first of all you have to uh, give it like spro then amg reference then we are having enterprise structure under that we are having definitions then financial accounting and then define company so six steps are there right now open one more screen create a new session okay so here instead of now here so we have already we are into this defined company so now first of all you just come back from here you come back then only you will be able to once i come back now you just come on seconds so now six steps we have followed now if you have to define company with the help of transaction code that first one is path as i told you a a to b b to c c to d d to e like that and here transaction code means we are going to use a transaction code ox 15 and press enter so look at here guys directly within a second we have reached here so that's what i said it's totally your wish if you want to follow transaction code you can follow transaction code if you want to follow path you can follow path anything is up to you whichever you feel easy you can i generally if you are going to ask me honestly i'll tell you guys i always prefer to transaction code if i don't know transaction code of any particular configurations in that case only i'm going to use the path and all okay and uh, it's it's if you talk about the transaction code remembering the transaction code or like path and all i never remember transaction code i never remember path also in the sense i do not mug up these things and all okay so here once you do the practice guys there are multiple transaction code which is going to be quite you guys are going to be quite familiar with those things and also don't be uh, what to say uh, don't try to run behind this path or transaction code and all because there are multiple things to learn in sap okay so now here whether you use path or transaction code 
So here I have used transaction code, right? Now click on new entry and we are going to define here a company, right? So company is going to be defined here, guys. So you have to, I will just give one thing here. You have to give a code first of all, okay? So TT ZRP, let's suppose code I have given. Now, if you are going to give a code, so what is the use of this code also, guys? I'll explain you, don't worry. First of all, maximum six digit code you can give and minimum one digit code also can be, okay? One to six. If you talk about the length of this field, six digit is there, right? And then Tata group, right? Street here, I can give like, let's suppose anything like here, one to three street, a particular PO box details, or else like here, postal code just give any city can be given, guys. Country, then language key, and your currency, whatever currency is there, you can give it here, and then you can save it. Okay, you can save the transactions. So, once if you are going to save it, control S. If you are going to save it, look at here for you guys, what kind of things will appear? For you guys, what will happen? Like this one also will be blank, and here this one also will be blank. This is called transport request. A transport request is getting generated. Okay, a transport request is getting generated. What is the logic? What is the use of this trans transport request behind that? Also, uh, what to say? This is again a separate. Uh, explanation is required for this one but right now right now as i told you in a single session it is not possible to explain each and everything so right now whatever configurations we are going to save guys those configurations are going to be saved on a particular transport request okay so here what you need to do for you this request number is also blank description is also blank you just need to click on create request okay and here you can give You get here sort descriptions and then click on save button click on save button so what we have done we have created company right look at here quite easy we have created company now the next one is called company code okay so next one is called company code so now we'll do one thing how we are going to define the company code right how we are going to define the company code i'll show you this conference will now be recorded okay guys so actually by mistake that uh, I, I clicked on this one uh, recording was stopped so anyway uh, now, nothing to be worried about. So what we have done guys, we have defined company, right? We have defined company. Now we are going to, now we are going to define company code. Company represents what guys? Company represents group company. The next step, we are going to define company code, right? Here we have to define company code. Tata motor. As I told you, now we are going to do implementation. So we have to define Tata motor. When Tata, Tata steel is going to be defined guys, later. Once the implementation is done for Tata Motor, then the next, uh, after that, for Tata Steel, the rollout is going to happen. So again, next time Tata Steel is going to define for that also multiple configurations need to be done, right? So right now we are doing configurations for, in the sense, implementations for Tata Motor. So it is going to be set up. Tata Group we have created in the form of company. Now Tata Motor is going to be set up in the form of company code. So how to set up this company code guys again either you can use path or transaction code as I told you now you can follow anything you are in my configuration document I have given path transaction code both you can follow anyone I am going to use transaction code so OX 15 sorry OX 02 is the transaction code to define your company code OX 02 okay press enter now click on new entry and here company code i'm going to give 
any four digit code need to be given okay now so here tm00 and here i'm going to give tata motor let's suppose and the city you can give any city guys whatever country whichever country you want to give so and that particular country currency also you need to give and then language i'm going to give and control is save it so now once you save it this next next screen is appearing so here once again you are going to like let's suppose tata motor right apart from this all the complete address we are going to give right now i'm just going to give here country code only why because country code is a mandatory field here if you don't enter look at here this is a mandatory field if you don't enter country code and if you press enter system will not allow you to proceed further so whatever mandatory fields are there you must have to specify the details in that so i'm going to specify country code here and press enter now look at here transport request is getting generated so automatically what is happening guys by default whatever your previous tr is there that is going to be that is going to be shown by system is going to recommend that do you want to save the current changes also in the same current configuration also on the same transport request so i'll tell you guys don't create a new transport request until unless you know the logic behind that right so you just do one thing save your save your this one in the sense this configuration also we are going to save on the same transport request okay now so what we have done we have defined company it means group company then we have defined company code right now this tata motor i have defined right and this tata motor is the subsidiary of tata group tata group also we have defined here into sap in the sense i have configured tata group also and under that we are having like tata motor so this tata motor also i have configured now this tata motor is the subsidiary of tata group that i know and even you guys also know because you are listening this lecture right so i know that this is the subsidiary of uh, tata group you guys also know this is the subsidiary of tata group what about sap how sap will come to know that this tata motor is subsidiary of tata group how sap will come to know that there is a link between tata motor and tata group right so what we have to do now we are going to assign this company code with the company okay or else you can say company with the company code it means we are creating a link between company and company code in the sense company equals to group company and company code equals to subsidiary <clears throat> right now one more thing i'll explain here guys based on what we are going to set up the company code right so i'll tell you based on what you are going to set up the company code uh, say for example subsidiary if you talk about tata motor if you talk about tata steel how we have decided that this is going to be company code so i'll tell you guys a group company if you talk about the reporting reporting means i'm talking about financial statement so company code is al always going to be created like based on this financial statement basis in the sense like for tata motor separate set of financial statement is going to be published for tata steel separate set of financial statement is going to be published for tata chemical separate set of financial statement is going to be published why because tata motor is going to be listed in a stock market as a separate entity have you find like any listing for tata group guys no this is a group organizations it's okay but subsidiaries are listed in the stock exchange right uh, whether it is mnc company indian company us company uk australia whatever the countries are there every countries are having multiple organizations so now if you talk about a particular group company is there but in that multiple subsidiaries are there so those subsidiaries are listed in the stock market tata motor is having different share price tata steel is having different share price tata chemical is having different share price tata motor is going to publish their financial statement individually independently tata motor is going to publish their financial statement individually independently tata chemical is also doing the same thing right if any kind of uh, what to say uh, performance issues are there in terms of tata motor then it is going to have impact on their share prices right tata steel and tata chemical will have been almost like least impact we can say right so based on the subsidiary we are going to uh, what to say set up this company code and all and group company is going to be set up as a company that i already explained so now here company code is going to be assigned with the company how to assign this ox16 is the transaction code by which we are going to assign this 
so here click on position and then what is your company code guys tm00 so here i am going to assign now what is your company here guys so i said like our company is ttzrp if you are able to remember it's okay and if you forgotten then what you have to do you need to click on this drop down box small look at here square shape you need to click here so even you can find out you can search out let's suppose multiple companies are there here right so you just need to click on here and then you give okay so now here you can give your code now the problem is let's suppose you already forgotten your code right so if you forgotten your code in that case you just do one thing click on find button and here i'm going to give tata group and press enter now look at here tata group somebody has already created but this is not our company right so click on find next click on find next this is also not our click on find next click on find next this is also not our our is tata group ttgrp right so here this is a practice server guys so you'll be having multiple people have set up their own what to say this one so series and all right so anyway now here tata group we have assigned save it now what next the next one is called we have to define business area now we have to define business area manufacturing unit and service unit so how to define guys so for that now one more thing i have to explain one more thing i have to explain now let's suppose we are in one screen right so this is called like define assignment company code right so from here if you want to go to if from one screen to other screen if you have to jump jump from one screen to other screen always you have to give slash n followed by your transaction code let's suppose ox03 if i am saying for defining business area so always use slash n plus transaction code okay press enter so look at here from assignment i came to business area from here if i have to go to like assign company to company code right so slash n o ox 16 if you give simple transaction code like only ox02 ox03 nothing will happen okay so ox03 is going to work out only if you come on the home screen here if you come on this home screen and from here onwards if you use ox03 then system is going to take you again if i'm going to use ox 16 let's like suppose system will not so again you you have to come on the home screen so how to come on home screen guys shortcut key is there slash n right then we came on home screen and from here now you are going to go for ox 16 or ox 02 whatever it is so now from one screen to other screen already we are in one screen and if from here if you have to go to other screen then you have to use slash n followed by transaction code hope you are able to understand the logic so click on new entry here business area so first of all four digit code we are going to give okay t m a n and here i'll give a descriptions and again service also is there so i'm going to give this is the four digit code and here service business area okay it is already somebody has already created service business area so i'm going to do one thing i will just do one thing guys give like this and delete this one i'm going to use tsrv itself just save it so now here tman and tsrv right here that already created by somebody if you want to like T S R V, it is already created, right? Service business area, and then we have set up manufacturing also T M A N. So these two business area we are going to use. Now there will be a question in your mind like, okay, this is set up by somebody. How can we use? I'll tell you guys, business area is a client level setting. 
so if you set up the business area uh, now no need to assign there is assignment is also not required with the company code and any business area can be used by any company code okay so i know that this has created lots of confusion again multiple question will be there in your mind guys but don't worry right now it is not possible to explain okay in upcoming session in the next video there will be a topic i'll explain one what to say there will be i'll i'll, I'll uh, what to say record another session on the topic called like uh, i said like this is a client level setting so what is the difference between company code level setting and client level setting once you are able to understand then you will be able to understand this logic guys okay so once again i'll repeat as i told you that it is not possible to explain each and everything in the sing single session itself right so right now for the time being you just set up your business area i have set up two now if you are going to set up your business area in the same server better to give different code why because whatever i have set up you cannot do the same <clears throat> these codes are already existing now here why we are giving this four digit code or three digit code or six digit code guys one side we are giving descriptions also so here the thing is if you post a transactions let me show you one screen okay fb let's suppose 50 this is an screen so here system is asking that this transaction whatever you are going to post that belongs to which company code it means which subsidiary isn't it so instead of it's not like if Tata Motor name is let's suppose 50 character name is there are we going to give all these 50 characters it's going to take time so instead of that simply we are going to give this code company code tm00 and press enter system will be able to understand yes this transaction is going to be posted for Tata Motor New Delhi look at here this is why small codes are going to be given so in SAP what is happening guys for every configurations we are going to give a particular code but don't be confused guys this code has nothing to do with the technical coding and all some people will have some kind of confusions that this sap is the part of it so what about this codings and all because i don't know the codings i'll tell you guys those codings are different that is going to be done by technical people and all you guys are going to for our whatever this our code is there this is pretty simple to understand tm00 means what tata motor this is our company code let's suppose likewise tata steel is there right so you can have like ts00 we are going to set up later if you have to do the practice even like uh, let's suppose if you are going to do the practice you can also uh, create your own company code you can also create your own company company code and further like business area and in even in upcoming sessions i'm going to show you guys how to set up posting period uh, field status uh, <coughs> multiple other configurations also are there guys so with details in details i'm going to explain those things okay so now here what we have done we have defined the company we have defined the company code we have defined business area as well plant is not going to be designed uh, defined by uh, you know us right now generally it is going to be defined by mm consultant but later in upcoming sessions uh, will will define plant also why because there will be a topic called integrations okay so in the integrations part what will happen guys we have to define this plants also okay plant is also going to be defined that is going to be defined by us only so at that point of time you guys will be i'll explain the logic behind that okay so here what we have done guys we have done with the settings of our enterprise structure enterprise structure we have done now what what next the next one is called basic settings so in basic setting also multiple configurations are there that we have to do and then after we have to go for gl settings okay and once we do the gl settings and all then after we will be able to post some transactions and once the transaction is getting posted guys then lots of lots of things are going to be cleared over there because again i'll explain i'm going to correlate all these things over there okay so that's what i'm saying that uh, might be in first uh, sessions second sessions still some confusion will be there or like you'll be having some more question in your mind so here the major problem is with the tutorial videos and all because here you are watching the video and if you are having any question and all you cannot ask here right if you have whatever questions are there you cannot ask right and even if you are having any question and all uh, let's suppose whom you are going to ask who, who is going to reply these things and right you are just watching the video simply so that is why like people suggest like better if you are having if you are going with the 
live training and all that is better but anyway i'm, I'm trying to explain each, each and everything in the easiest way so that you guys will be having perfect understanding so this is all about the enterprise structure configuration part guys in next session i'm going to explain about basic settings so that's all in this session guys